Mr. Copeland, could you just look at those two documents? Do you recognize those documents? I've seen them before, yeah. Are those the arrest warrants taken out for you for false report of a crime and false statements um, that you believe are still pending against you? Uh, yeah. Okay. And briefly, the allegation is that, well, Your Honor, I would move to admit DS-27A and DS-27B into evidence. Briefly, the allegations against you that you believe are pending are that you accused a jail worker or a deputy of spraying with OC spray at the jail. Right. And the deputies, the supervisors reviewed the videotape from the jail and determined that the jail worker did not have OC spray on her and did not spray you with any OC spray in the jail. Isn't that correct? Right. What? Did you know that the state, while this trial was going on, dismissed that case against you? I didn't know that. Well, I brought you good news. This dude and did his homework, the state's homework, Woody's homework. He did Judge Whitaker's homework. Does that does that document say State of Georgia versus Kenneth Copeland? Does correct me if I'm wrong. Does this document say the facts of this case have been reviewed, and although it appears that probable cause existed for the defendant's arrest. The decision of the district attorney at this time is not to prosecute the above named defendant. Is that what that says? Yeah. Okay. It says the reasons for this decision are as follows. Prosecutorial discretion. Correct. Mm -hmm. And yes, the person who his name is on this document is Fonny T. Willis, correct? Oh, gosh. That document does not indicate that your charges, your pending charges for false report of a crime and false statement, they don't indicate that those are dismissed forever, just for now, at this time, correct? I guess. Okay. And it, nothing in that document says we dismiss this case because... We were wrong. Mr. Copeland's innocent. It said prosecutorial discretion. Correct? What do you mean? Okay. It means they just made the decision to do it. All right. That, that we can strike that part. Ask your next question. Isn't it true? And you just found out that this was dismissed today. But isn't it true that while you were on the state's witness list to testify in this case, the state was simultaneously at the same time prosecuting you for false statements and false report of a crime? Isn't that true? Talk to me so I can understand. They were calling you a liar at the same time that they were asking this jury to believe what you're saying. Isn't that true? Oh, yeah. Boy, ain't no way, boy. Boy, ain't no way, boy. Let's talk about your immunity agreement with the state. They told you in that June 10th, 2024 meeting that you did not ask for that any crime that you talked about they were not going to prosecute you for, correct? Yeah. You can sh talk about shooting Rich Homie Kwan's dad's barber shop. You can talk about shooting Rich Homie Kwan's father. They're not going to prosecute you for those things, right? That's mm -hmm. what they told you. That's the promise they made to you, correct? Objection of the evidence. Sustained. Is that your understanding? 
Nothing that I say can be used against me. Okay. There's one exception. If I say that I did, yeah. Okay. The Donovan Thomas thing. Yes. Look at love. Love is troubled. Mr. Love Copeland, shooketh. You don't know any of these gentlemen back here to have a personal beef with Donovan Thomas, do you? And here we go. What do you mean? Back in 2015, you didn't know any of these gentlemen to have a personal beef with Donovan Thomas. I never said I did. Okay. But you did. The reality, Mr. Copeland, is you were the person who had a problem with Donovan Thomas. Isn't that correct? You were the one that broke into Donovan Thomas's car, correct? So in fact, not in evidence. Never ruled. Yeah, he's already said he did. You've admitted to it. Yeah. You're the one that stole Donovan Thomas's chain, correct? Mr. Copeland, you're the one that shot up Donovan Thomas's friend, Rich Homie Kwan's father's barbershop in 2014, correct? You're the one that was going back and forth with Donovan Thomas's brother, Kelvin Watts, correct? You've called his brother a waste of space in October 2021, didn't you? Mr. Copeland's not answering the question, and so yeah, these are the Apparently, response. Mr. Shard doesn't care whether he answers or not, so it's fine with me. <laughs> if he wants an answer, Gosh. he can say that. You called Kelvin Watts a waste of space in October 2021, didn't you? And I don't think nobody walking the earth would not agree with it. You said that people would cheer if he died. I see what you did there. Correct? I will. Back in the days. You've shot it, Donovan Thomas's brother, Kelvin Watts, correct? Mm -hmm. You're the one who got jumped by Donovan Thomas's brother on January 6, 2015 at Club Crucial, correct? Club Crucial. You, not any of these gentlemen. Wow. Right? And you're the one that shot up TIG Recording Studio on January 8th, 2015. Isn't that correct? Let me ask you something, Mr. Copeland. Wow. You were asked about the green store by Attorney Steele, right? The green store, you're familiar? Yeah. That's actually called Mommy's Grocery in Delhi on Glen Street, correct? I guess. You estimated that the driving time is five minutes. The truth is to get from the green store to where Donovan Thomas was gunned down, you have to drive a couple hundred feet on Glen Street and take a right onto McDaniel, correct? That's how you get there, right over the tracks. The truth is, it takes less than a minute to make that drive. Isn't that correct? Mr. Kokomo, could you play, publish DS24F? Mm. This Max is February is 21st, 2015, 378 Yankee Delta from 622.59 to 624.01. He cooking them. He cooking them. I got somebody from Albany, man. He killed me. He killed me. He called. Tonight, well, I got with him. He got killed. And we're going to start it over, Mr. Copeland, because I didn't, I didn't provide any context. You spoke on a a gang meeting that the Bloods had about you on that Thursday before Donovan Thomas was killed, correct? Here's your bingo board, Becky. Mr. Kokomo, could you play 
DS twenty four. Bloods had a gang meeting on the Thursday before Donovan Thomas was killed, two days before, on the same day that you shot up TIG Studios. Isn't that correct? I don't know what you're talking about. In that statement to the police, you said that the whole meeting was based on me. Not them, on you. That Mo from behind the wall had put the green light on you. Not anyone else. He put the green light on you for what was going on with you. The guy who stole from Donovan Thomas. The guy who shot up the studio with Rich Homie Kwan and Donovan Thomas in the studio that night. Yeah, objection, I was assuming facts not in the evidence and harassment of the witness. Overruled. Hold up. Yeah, it's rewind time. And did you tell them that was after you were flashing money while you were on the stage? I probably did. I ain't no, I, I would, detectives thought his brain was the size of a squirrel brain. So you could just tell him anything, he gonna go for it. Yeah, right. At this time, the state's gonna ask permission to treat Mr. Copeland as a hostile witness under pursuing I to can... 24 6, 6 11, Your Honor. Granted. Thank you. What they mean? Don't worry about it. That's just for her to understand how she can ask the questions. You just continue to answer them truthfully. That one didn't age quite so well. At that meeting, Donovan Thomas went whoop, approved of the orders to kill you. You told the police that the gang members handed out guns to younger people. And the plan was to trick you to come to the gas station. And the only reason you weren't killed is because someone told you about it. In January 2015, Donovan Thomas was coming after you. Mr. Copeland, you're not the type of guy to back down, are you? Yo, hit that light for Dill Christian. Yo, for Dill Christian, just smash that bell. For DMC, yo, smash it. Just smash it. Hit that like for Dill Christian. For Dill Christian, smash that bell. For DMC, yo, smash it. Just smash it. Hit that like for Dill Christian.